Burning Bridges and Lives is about the murder of Mildred Mowry. She met a man who went by the name Richard Campbell. He claimed to be a doctor and married Mildred on August 28, 1928. They married, and shortly after, Richard Campbell left Mildred in Pennsylvania and told her he was going to California. Instead of going to California, he went to Elizabeth, New Jersey. Mildred went looking for him, but had no luck in finding him. On February 22, 1929, Richard Campbell suddenly turned up in Pennsylvania again and told Mildred he was going to take her to New Jersey. On their way to New Jersey, he took out his 38 automatic and shot her in the head. After she was shot... He dragged her body out of the car, poured gasoline on her, and set it on fire. Once the body was discovered, detectives assigned to the case started collecting the evidence. The evidence they were able to collect included the clothes that were on her, jewelry, her face structure, which told the detectives she was Polish, and letters found in her home from her husband. Two of Mildred's friends had gone to the police saying that she had been missing. On April 11th, detectives were able to go to Campbell's house where they found his legitimate wife. Richard Campbell came to the house around 9 p.m. and he had a gun found in his pocket. After an hour of questioning, he finally confessed to the murder of Mildred Mowry. On June 13, 1929, Campbell was found guilty of first-degree murder and was executed the following April.